happening today. People at gyms across the mid-state will remember 9-11. Many annual events turn observance into exercise. This one is no different. Kayla Schmidt live in Susquehanna Township with the details. Hi, Kayla. <laughs> Hello, Ali and James. I have hopped back on the stair climber here since David finished the challenge. Now I'm right next to Ken Platt from the Dauphin County response crisis response team. How you doing, Ken? I'm doing well. Good. Working hard, We're working hard. Yeah. So Ken, he's almost at a thousand steps or just over. You know, I'm still working towards that. Yeah. So Ken, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Talk to me why a day like 9-11 is so important to look back on and honor. So today, obviously, several thousand fellow citizens lost their lives as well as first responders. They suffered a lot of pain in, in, uh, that day. And uh, this is just my opportunity to come out and show a little respect. Definitely. And, you know, you're next to one of your brothers here. I am. So how does that feel, you know, being able to do this alongside someone that you're on the front lines with? So it's a brotherhood. I trust him with my life. He trusts me with his, and we would sacrifice ourselves for each other or anyone else. And you guys are on the front lines every day in Dauphin County, especially over the weekend. So, you know, hopping on this machine this morning, what does it really mean to you? What uh, motivated you? Um, it signifies the sacrifice that our countrymen have made and servicemen, um, as well as what uh, law enforcement has sacrificed. Um, to keep our community safe. Thank you very much, Ken. Yep. I will let you continue you. your steps. I hope you get to that 2,200. Allie James, I'm probably just going to get over to 1,000. But hey, maybe after work, I'll come back and finish that challenge. I'll send things to you what back in the studio as we finish our morning observing 9-11. Live from Five Bridges, Kayla Schmidt, ABC 27 News. Kayla, I'm just very curious. You know, you're talking there with Ken. And he had all that gear on. If he's done this before, how long does this take? Well, James, it could take one to four hours, depending on how fast you're going. Obviously, I don't go to the gym every day, so I'm not on a very fast speed. I've also had to hop on and off to allow other servicemen and gym goers to hop on. So it just kind of depends. Back to you. At least an hour, though. All right. Wow. Thank you. Kayla Schmidt live for us in Dauphin County this morning.